A lot of the things that I'm adding to my bench are things that I've been using on my bench for years and I would not be without them. And one of them is the shelf that I have under the bench end where I keep these, my sharpening plates and my strop. They go right in here, they're immediately accessible and because they're dirty, I need a shelf just above that to keep everything else clean and give me extra storage. So this is another non-negotiable for me. I want these fitted to my bench. This is the main bottom one. This goes underneath the apron and gets fastened to the apron down here. Whereas this one is another shelf. This one gets fitted in between the apron and sits on top of this shelf when it's done. So we're gonna, first of all, cut those to length, mark them and cut them to length. So I've already squared one end up here and that's going to go flush with this outside of the apron on my side here. So I'm gonna flush this. I might leave it over one millimeter, but no more. I'm gonna to go to this end, I'm gonna mark it here. And I'm also going to mark the far end just in case something is out of square. That's going to be my cut line for that one. Now I can check myself. And that was nice and square, so I don't have an issue with that. So I'm gonna mark the next one now. This one, I haven't squared the end up here. I don't know which end is going where, so I have to make some choices here. So this goes under here, and I've got a gap at the far end, so I may not be square. So I'm going to check that here. And there's a gap at that end as well. So what we're gonna do is square this one end up and hopefully that will close the gap. Oops. So I'm just gonna trim off that little bit with the plane usually. Cause I want it to fit fairly close. It's a bench after all, it's not that critical, but So I'm looking at the edge to see where, where it frays into that knife wall. And when I'm close, which I am now, I'm gonna try it, offer it again. Right inside I have a little bit more, or do I? No, I don't. I'm happy with that. So now I can mark this one too. So a good sharp pencil, or just go directly with the knife, front and back again. And this may need a little bit of trimming after. But I'm on my knife wall again, on my pencils again. So now I'm switching to my knife. A little gap on this would not make much difference. I'm going to cross cut both of these identically. They're exactly the same, but they are different lengths. Same way, I mean, the method I'm going to use. This is something I would always do, use the knife wall all the way around. It's good practice and ends up with good results too. It leads to a really crisp edge, which on this one doesn't matter, but on this other one, it does matter. This one really matters because these edges are going to be exposed. And how you work determines the outcome. Knife wall. And these really, all they have, they were just gonna screw these. You're not even gonna glue them. We're just gonna screw these to the underside of the apron when we're done. A couple of clamps, I just clamp this to the apron. Like that, a couple, we'll make it nice and secure. And then, 
a crosscut handsaw will do this very nicely. Same on the next one, when we come to that. And I'm just going to trim this up with the plane again, just to get rid of the fuzzy bits. Make sure it's neat. And this end here. take my plane across this edge here just to break the, this is the under edge just to break that under edge like that and this is ready to fit there I'm going to cut the other one and then I'm going to drill holes in all of them show you what I do next after I've done that so I'm going to cut this one now fit it I want to make sure it's fitted between the apron so I'm absolutely solid that it's going to fit and you'll see why in a minute so same again don't go all the way through because you'll break this front edge off go about halfway I'm lifting off at the end of my stroke there. Here's the real test. How good was the fit? That's all I wanted. That's a good fit. It's not too tight, not too slack. So this is going to be my front edge. I've got two pieces of wood, an inch and a half wide half an inch thick that goes in here this is going to go here and this one is going to go here so I'm going to drill those pre-drill them with a 3 16 5 millimeter I think that is but I may be wrong I'm going to pre-drill through this one piece but not into the second piece so there's a scrap here two holes and I'm going to countersink them just to hide the heads and you can go through the top of the shelf if you want to uh, you don't have to go this way, I'm just hiding the screws. I don't want to see the screws or catch the screws. You can glue them or not glue them, it's entirely your choice. You don't have to glue them. They're, these are not taking any weight, barely at all. So this goes here, like this. Two inch long screws are enough. Countersink these. Put 
just to get them out of the way. And we're going to dry these screws. So I've got this flush on the outside at both ends, and flush on that front edge. If one sticks past the other, if the bead, uh, the board, the batten sticks past, just plain it flush. Sometimes the screw can shift you over when you don't want it to. That's that bit done. So this is going to go on top of this, like this, on the underside of here. So I'm going to be able to put one screw through these sides. When I drop this on, I'll be able to drill a hole through each end here, and that's all I need is one hole, one, one screw on each one. This one, let's go ahead and mark this. We'll put it in position. I'm going to mark this for the insides of this so I know where my screws are going to go, like this. There. And I want my screws to be roughly in the middle of here. And I'm going to put three screws in here. So this is just a question of coming in maybe an inch and a half from each of the outside area and then one in the middle like that inch and a half. You can measure this, but nobody is going to be looking underneath this branch, bench to see if you've centered everything. Just keep it realistic. With this... And I'm going to use one inch, uh, two inch screws for, the, for attaching this to the underside. Boing. Little helicopter there. Countersink. I like this to be nice and firm because I end up having to lift the bench from time to time, so I want something that's really solid. And I'm ready to fix that to my bench. This is the easy bit, you've done all the work, you've got it prepped, you've sanded, got everything ready to be installed. So we just flush this in place. No glue, I'm not gluing mine. Um, I found on some things that it's better to be able to remove some of the components as you're, uh, if you have to move the bench, take it out, something like that. So, and this would be an overkill to glue this as well, it's not necessary here. So just cinch the screws home. I've used two inch screws for this. And this, of course, you can use twisted boards for this shelf if you need to. If you, you can pull the, the twist out readily if you have it. You won't hear me say that very often. There it is, rock solid, nice and solid. And now we come to this next piece here. This was the shelf. And let's see if this fits still. It does, that works very nicely. And all I'm going to do here is take a, a, a drill and just pre-drill the hole through here.
at an angle. Like this. And it doesn't need any more than this. And I, I don't even need to countersink because I'm going with a small screw and the screw head is small. So they will just seat inside there. The reason I can't countersink it is because I can't get in with the countersink. Just seat that so it's below the surface. And that's it. So now I'm going to drop this down. So here it's so solid I can pull on this. And I'm ready to go. There it is. So if I have my sharpening plates in the holder now, these slide into here very nicely. I can put my, my strop in and they're there ready for working with. So that's another addition I can't live without. Keep it on your bench, you'll learn to have it right there. Pull it from here into the bench, you're ready to sharpen. Stow it, it's out of the way. Thank you.